Hey, welcome to Photoshop uh, Setup. This is just going to go over the basic interface of Photoshop, so it's the first time open uh, users, looking at the main tools you're going to be using to zoom and pan, history tool, undo tool, uh, saving. Um, so this is Photoshop uh, CC 2018 version, and so what you're going to do first of all is go File, New, and you want to open a new document. Knowing what you want to do with that document uh, or that file is really important at the setup stage because the presets are going to change and it's quite difficult to change them back. So if you're going to be printing it out, you're going to be looking under print. If you're looking to put it on the web, you're going to look at uh, using the web sort of basic uh, templates. What that changes is this key part down here. So the if it's RGB for screens and the resolution compared to print, uh, it's going to be around 300 and it should be under CMYK. You can also change the background contents uh, for all of them, that being transparent, being really common sort of ones, so I might set that up. Uh, first of all, the basic orientation if it's landscape or portrait, and that's pretty much the overall. I have just copied this photo here, so when you're opening it, don't you look at just the thumbnail expand it so you get a better quality. I'm just going to go copy and then I'm going to go into here uh, and that should be under my recent and it will copy across uh, on the clipboard so that's the true dimensions for that image. And then I'm going to go create. So this grey white sort of checker pattern, that's just a, for Photoshop to tell you that it is a transparent background not a paper white sort of background. So if I go paste um, and I remove a selection that's going to expose that underlying sort of area. I'll be dealing with selections later on so I won't be worrying about that at the moment. The basic interface is these sort of tools located here all to do with selection. The next tools are mainly to do with modifying uh, files and then we've got the eraser, paint bucket and you can see under these there's associated tools with them so if you can't find the paint bucket it's going to be under the gradient sort of tool. Um, modification of files uh, of, of images once again and you can see they all come with a quick little visual and then you've got more vector based designs down here. Down the bottom here you've got the pan, hand tool and the zoom tool. I suggest don't use these, you'll get used to the shortcuts pretty quickly. You're going to be wanting to get nice, uh, precise lines, so doing so is you're going to be zooming in. So I use control plus and minus to zoom in and out. And then once I'm in scene, I can have any tool and I can pan around just by simply clicking spacebar and moving around. And then I deselect and that tool remains. So that's really uh, efficient. So this is what we call the toolbar. The top tech top section along here is what we call the options tab depending upon what tool is selected so I've selected the paintbrush everything associated with paintbrushes is here so you can the flow rate of the paintbrush how translucent it is uh, the brush size so on and so forth so that's going to change depending upon what tool you've used on the right hand side you've got what we call the palettes and they can be expanded they can be uh, changed so different options and they can also be torn off if you're constantly sort of going to be using them so they don't minimize and um, throw them back into the palette section. If these aren't appearing, uh, you're going to be going to Window and then they're going to be all located down here. To change your workspace, uh, and my workspace, I always use Essentials Default. In the newer version, it's called Essentials Classic, uh, and so that just allows all the tools to be visible. Um, that's pretty much the overall of it. Often you'll press tab to get like a preview mode or if you find your tools are missing that's the tab tool and Photoshop's organize it pretty well in terms of your regular file save and export uh, of images. If you're editing a file, an image you're going to be dealing with there. If you're um, modifying the adjustments within an image you're going to be under image. Layers, of course associated with layers. Key thing you might be needing to do is rasterize a layer uh, Photoshop will tell you when you need to do that. Type, obviously there, dealing with selections. I'll make a video just about selections later on because it's quite a powerful tool. Dealing with filters, 3D, different views. Often you'll be showing rulers uh, and guides. I'll make a video just based on that as well. And uh, we've gone over that one. Uh, saving files, I always like to save 
files as a PSD file. So that's going to be this one here. If you're dealing with basic JPEGs, uh, so it will keep it nice and compressed, um, that's really a common format. Obviously, everything can open that. If you're wanting it to be um, high quality, but you don't care about the the size of the file, TIFF's a really good one to go through and use. It won't compress it, and it's a really common file type. If you need to, if you've got translucencies in it, transparencies, best to go to File Export, export as um, a PNG when this appears. So you're saving as a PNG, it will keep those transparencies. Otherwise, if you've got a transparent background and you save it as a JPEG, it will turn whatever's transparent to white. So that's how you can solve that. Excellent. Thank you.